everybody, Corey here from Parta Pro. We're here with our favorite tester, Al, and we've got a brand new, amazing roll away garage simulator for you guys. It's involving the sports screen, and man, we're gonna show you how to get set up in a matter of minutes. Okay, Al, let's take it away. I think the first thing that we're gonna do, start up the computer and all the stuff that takes the long time to get started. I'm just gonna start the computer. I'm gonna start the projector. We got the projector mounted up on the ceiling. Just off of a regular projector mount. Turn on the sky track that we got here. All okay. right. Now the next part, we're gonna roll out the landing turf. Now I'm gonna make Al do all the work here to show you guys that it can be done by one person and uh, you don't have to be that fit in order to do it. Hey! <laughs> um, but you can uh, have this all rolled out pretty easily. We've marked off the floor where the mat should go, just on the back corner, just using a Sharpie, which is pretty easy to do. And uh, with this turf, you can use putting turf, but we've used a rough turf. Uh, it seems to collect the dust and dirt and uh, all the rest of that good stuff pretty well. So we're good there. And uh, it doesn't have to be a perfect alignment, but it's nice to have that all set up because the closer you are to your proper alignment, the more accurate your shots are gonna be uh, with whatever sim that you're gonna use. Today we're gonna show you the Skytrack sim with this, uh, but this studio can be used for pretty much anything. So Al's just gonna unroll that hitting mat. We've got a four by eight hitting mat here. This uh, you can get a mat, sorry, it's a 4x10 hitting mat, and uh, it is a, a uh, real feel. So uh, you can tee off anywhere in the mat, which is great, but you can do this with any mat. And we're not showing you much of the mat here, so let's move that camera down. And Al's just going to center this out. And you just align that mat right to the front edge of the landing mat there. And now he's gonna go and he's gonna roll down the screen. So we're gonna show you the screen coming down. He's just pressing on the remote control. This is all a motor powered, so it makes it super slick. We've got our SQ impact screen on this. And now when the screen gets to the bottom, Al's gonna just tie off the bottom corners. And I'll go in, just show you those bottom corners as he's tying them off. It is some uh, flat eyes that we have screwed to the floor and Al can go do the other side while we just go in there. So that is what's holding that screen down. A nice little bungee uh, keeps that flexible. And the screen itself is actually attached to the back screen which is the sports screen. So we can still use this setup for uh, the multi-sport, which is great. Now Al's gonna be doing the side rolls. So we've got a manual side roller. As he's just pulling that down. Now these ones that we have here are not attached to the screen, but we can do ones that will attach to the screen via Velcro. Uh, we've just opted for something really simple here and it just provides a little extra protection for our stuff on the sides as we all have lots of stuff in our garages and you can tuck the screen off on the floor there get it roughly in place now if you want more protection again you want something that attaches to the screen we also have netting that can actually wrap around the back um, and in this particular setup here we are going with a super high impact mesh ceiling uh, mesh but it is not attached to the screen nor is it protecting that top bar so if you're concerned about hitting that top bar, we definitely want to have uh, more protection up there. We can do baffles or all sorts of protection for you. So we do have that option. And now we're gonna turn off the light here so you can actually see the screen a little bit better. And Al's gonna just put down the SkyTrack, start up the SkyTrack software. And we're just using that handheld remote there. You can use a keyboard or a touch screen, you can use whatever you like. Um, you can use the SkyTrack on an iPad and connect it that way. 
And this particular setup, we're, we've got, it's the 16 foot wide setup. And my camera likes to pick up a bit of a rainbow there when we're in some of these modes. But that's all right. So the uh, right now the SkyTrack software is looking for the SkyTrack. It is now connected. Al's going to hit us a shot. And we're at five minutes here. It's now connected. I'm just going to the practice range and hit a shot. So he's grabbing the ball on the club. Nice thing about a garage, you can always have uh, your clubs and everything out. Easily accessible. Hits it into the screen. The ball's pretty nice and dead. Uh, is off on the screen there and hitting away. So that's it. That's how simple it is to put this golf simulator together. And we'll show you a put away in the next video. But for more information, you can always visit us at www.par2pro.com. Thanks, Al.